Framers, stop making these two calculation mistakes and your life will become a lot easier. The hip value button can save you a ton of time when framing a hip roof, but it's frequently used incorrectly. So let's take a look at the two most common mistakes and how to use this all powerful button correctly. For these examples, I'll use a common hip roof. Both sections have an 812 pitch. The ridge will use two by stock, so an inch and a half thick, and the common rafters will use four by stock, so three and a half inches thick. The first mistake that's easy to make is using the theoretical run. Let's enter half the span of the building as a run, so 10 feet, push run, and an eight inch pitch. Now the hip V button will show the length of the hip or valley rafter, but this is not the actual length you should cut. But let's store this in memory one to compare later. The second mistake is to take the theoretical run of the common rafter, deduct half the thickness of the ridge, so minus three quarters of an inch for two by stock, and enter that as run. Now the hip V button gives me a different length than earlier, but this is still not the right answer for this scenario. So I'll store this in memory two to compare later. The right way to use the hip V button in this scenario is to take the theoretical run, subtract half the thickness of the common rafters, so minus one and three quarters of an inch, and enter that as run. Now pushing hip V will give me the correct length. I'll store that in memory three, and I can toggle through the three solutions and see a difference in a couple of inches if I don't make the right deductions.